The power bag or the sandbag is one of the greatest functional training tools. It's terrific for really learning those primal movement patterns. That's exactly what we're going to do in today's video. Rather than an exercise, I'm gonna teach you guys a movement pattern and then different variations of that movement pattern. And today's movement pattern is the hip hinge, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a deadlift, move to a staggered deadlift, go to a single leg deadlift, and then I'm gonna show you how you can build power on that as well. So I'm gonna move a bit quicker than some of the other instructionals, but just to really open your eyes up to the incredible versatility of this magnificent tool. All right, so we're gonna start with our traditional kind of more Romanian style deadlift. Nice, slow, eccentric phase, neutral spine as we move through. That's the foundation. Now, if you guys can do that, where you're really loading up that posterior nicely, nice long neutral spine, then we can add some variations to really make it a little bit more difficult. So one variation is like a staggered. So this is a nice segue between our bilateral deadlift that we just did and our single leg deadlift that we're about to do. On all of these variations, you wanna be pulling the handles apart. Power bags, sandbags, doesn't really matter. We use them interchangeably. They'll be slightly different. The sandbag will shift a little bit more, but really the principles are the same, okay? Now what we can do is we can take this foot completely off the ground and move into a single leg deadlift. Just making it that little bit harder, making our stabilizers work that little bit more, making it a bit more challenging. Now, another way we can make the bilateral version challenging is starting to coordinate the whole body, the upper and the lower body, and really trying to challenge the neuromuscular coordination of the body. And we do that through our power base movements. So I'm just gonna show you one today, and it's gonna be kind of like our hang clean. We're coming all the way down like we did in our deadlift, but I'm coming up fast. I'm keeping that bag really close to my body as we move through. So there you have the hip hinge pattern and some incredible variations of that pattern to really mix up your training. Hope you enjoyed that. Now it's over to you guys, go practice.